Your first alert weather. Outside, we've been seeing some clouds this morning giving way to some sunshine. Now the clouds and fog looking to roll back in here tonight through tomorrow morning. And then we're looking to see some areas of light snowfall across portions of eastern Idaho and western Wyoming from some of that low cloud cover and fog. Chilly conditions though tonight, I'm expecting lows to get back into those teens and some places even down to the single digits. We take a live look in Rexburg, get some clouds off the distance, and we really can't see much here from the Franklin webcam along Highway 91. Socked in with that cloud cover and fog right now. Seeing similar conditions right now over Malad Summit. And we got some cloudy, foggy conditions as you're getting into northern Utah tonight. So more of that fog trying to develop into areas of the Snake River Plain, the valleys around Driggs and Victor, also in the Jackson Hole. And we also got a touch of snow just starting to creep back in to areas on the western edge of the Magic Valley. It's all thanks to an area of low pressure that's brought the snow in over yesterday and that low is going to continue to head further to the south bringing us a push of wet weather as we get into your Tuesday. Cold air still coming down in here from the north as we have this deep pocket of low pressure getting all the way south to LA. So here locally we have light snow trickling in especially into the mountains with some of that snow also working in with the low cloud cover and fog. Now we're not expected to really rack up a lot of snow here tonight or tomorrow but just kind of the steady snow that we're going to ring out of that low cloud cover and we'll start off the day tomorrow with some foggy conditions. Not so foggy though in central Idaho. Want to note that that's going to be fairly sunny in that direction. Also, if you get over the mountains, I'm looking to see a little bit of that breakup in the cloud cover here as you're heading a little closer to Utah for tomorrow. But as we get through the day, you'll see hints of snow, especially in areas close to the Tetons tomorrow with a few flakes, a few flurries for the rest of us in areas of the Snake River Plain into the valleys of western Wyoming. Same thing here going into Tuesday and Wednesday. Just kind of stuck with that stuff overhead here with the cloud cover, the fog, and some light snow. But central Idaho, sunny. Should be pretty uh, sunny in Salmon, Chalice, Stanley, up towards areas near Mackey. But as soon as you start to drop in elevation, you start to pick up a more cloud cover and snow. And speaking of snow, amounts are looking very low in terms of accumulation if we pick up on anything. You can see here we're barely getting some snow even in the local mountains. So the forecast showing us areas of fog with some light snowfall. South winds tomorrow at 5 to 10. Lighter winds tomorrow as that round of snow from yesterday rolled out further. And then we have a slight chance of snow in here through Wednesday as well. Highs around 29 for Montpelier, 30 for Soda Springs tomorrow. With highs right around freezing in Preston. And we'll down to a little down to 11 tonight in Afton with a high of 26 for tomorrow. Jackson's at 26 as well. We've got a high of 30 for Swan Valley, 28 for Rexburg, and 26 in St. Anthony with highs around 23 for Island Park. In the Jackson, eight day forecast, highs mid 20s through Wednesday, lower 20s for Thursday. More snow in the forecast as another system takes aim. Friday afternoon through Saturday. It looks like it's going to be fairly snowy, especially in our local mountains on Saturday. Rexburg, a high of 28 here for tomorrow and Wednesday, 27 for Thursday. We have scattered snow showers Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with highs in the 20s this weekend. Overnight lows back to the teens all the way through the rest of this week and the approaching weekend. High of 25 for Mackey, 29 in Ketchum tomorrow with the mid-20s in Arco, low 30s in Salmon. And again, we'll have some sunshine in that direction. We'll call it partly cloudy for Wednesday. Highs around 27. You'll still get a few clouds out there and numbers will be in the upper 20s for Saturday and Sunday with scattered snow showers across central Idaho to get the weekend started. For the Snake River Plain, Idaho Falls should hit a high of 30 with 35 for Pocatello, mid 30s for Burley in the mid 20s towards INL with a low of 2 tonight towards INL. Blackfoot, eight day forecast, 29 degrees for Wednesday. We got the same here for Thursday. A little less cloud cover on Thursday and Friday before another storm system rolls in late Friday through Saturday. Highs this weekend, upper 20s, not even making it to freezing for the weekend with the scattered snow threat. Pocatello, 33 for the high getting into Wednesday, 32 for the high Thursday. And we got snow in the forecast Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with gusty winds on Saturday. Highs low 30s for Saturday afternoon with that scattered snow threat. Idaho Falls, your eight day forecast, upper 20s for Wednesday and Thursday. Scattered snow here for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with the gusty winds. Numbers into the mid 20s this weekend. If we get to freezing, we'll be lucky. We'll send it over to Eric. All right, thanks, Michael. Coming up in sports, speaking of freezing, we recap an exciting weekend of hockey at the Mountain America Center. Sports Line.